<laughs> it's your day, Randy Bear. We're out in Ridgecrest, dude. This is your stomping ground. Amazing. Oh my God, it's beautiful out here. Dude, we got a couple Hondos. We got 250RX and a 450X. We're gonna ride around for a little while. We actually have Jaeger Troop on his way. He's about 45 minutes behind us. So we're gonna get a little lay of the land, or at least I am, and we'll come back and find him. Yeah. If you guys are wondering why we're out here, there's a race happening in Spangler Hills and we came out for that, but that's tomorrow. So we figured come out day early, do a little riding. All right, Randy Bear, after you, sir. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How are you guys? We're all right. I, I guess I'm being really re well recorded right now. Yeah. Huh? You are, sir. What's your What's your radio about? Um, it's so when I get lost, he can find me. Oh, this is the rule: you go to the closest peak, you stay there. He'll ride to every peak, peak to peak to peak, and he'll find you. I like that. I never heard that before. Yeah. Where were you? Why didn't you ever tell me that? So our new buddy said there's a memorial up here for a guy that. Uh, had a heart attack that everybody loved. He was like a tired guy. So we're gonna go look at it. Oh, that's cool. They put a grill here and everything, man. They're just going for it. Yeah, I remember this guy. He used to like race buggies and trucks and stuff. All right, let's dedicate this one to Richard Boyle. Yep. Never met you, buddy, but I've already heard some great stuff about you. I'm learning. I have some tips. I have some pointers for you. Already. Best thing you can do is when there's a when there's a difficult situation to go through, stand up, lean back, and gas it. <laughs> you should be right 80% of your time standing on your pegs. Stand on your pegs, you transfer the center of gravity from here to here. The lower the center of gravity on any performance vehicle, Indy car, NASCAR, I don't care what it is, the lower the center of gravity. The, the, the more stable it is. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. All right, so we're going to head back to the truck. We think the Eger ship might be there. Do that 180 wheelie thing they do. Almost. I think it's a lot easier when you're a little bit taller. Well, how tall is Graham Jarvis? <laughs> he doesn't like onions, but he eats butterflies. I'm not going to wreck tomorrow. That's how I'm going to beat you, Jaeger Troop, by not wrecking. You don't think your, your viewers will be disappointed I know, I have to wreck.
That wasn't hard. This is going to be a tough one. I can do it though. <sighs> Almost made it. He just took a bad hop. I can make it, man. I'm not giving up. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, instead of trying to avoid some of this shit, I'm just gonna hammer into it, see what happens. Rewarding, man. Rewarding. Oh, goat trails. I hate them. What do you think? I gotta try it, right? I think I'm gonna go right. Follow the S around to the top. We're doing it. I had no momentum. I give up. If I didn't have a race tomorrow, I wouldn't stop. I'd go. Sensible. Tomorrow's race is 70 miles, dude. I don't need to be doing this. Is that an excuse? But it's a valid excuse, right? All right, now we're gonna go ride 70 miles wide open in fourth gear. You know what we're doing for dinner? Choo-choo train. You know what choo-choo train is? Dude, if you guys watch my other channel, you totally know. I'll take you guys with me to dinner. So once you think this video is over, it's, it won't be. <laughs> if you like this video, hit that like button if you haven't yet subscribed.
do me a favor if you do like these videos start sharing them tell your friends about them your parents whatever it is and post it all over your walls and social media accounts because uh i could use the support man let's get this channel to a hundred thousand right right huge shout out to all the patrons of the channel you know i love every one of you guys you guys definitely keep me motivated if you haven't yet check out my website at suburbanlinkman.com got some good stuff over there let's not forget to support the channel sponsors chaparral moto keeping the bikes fixed and on the road ball offices of henry and dad keeping me out of trouble boss helmets keeping me safe remember guys support the companies that support us man they can spend their marketing dollars any way they want they choose to be a part of the channel they want to be a part of this so let them know that you want to be a part of what they're doing man so if you're in the market for any services or any product that the channel partners provide consider them first that's all i ask cool cool anyway i'll see you guys at dinner right time warp I saw you. Where'd that come from? You got firewood. I don't know. Yes. Next door. We're at Brian Deegan's house. Pre-marriage, pre-children, full debauchery. <laughs> Brian Deegan's got this hamster left over from a chick that he used to date. I grab this hamster and I've got him by the scruff of his little neck. I run to the kitchen, throw the hamster in the blender, hit the puree button. Yes. And we have liquid hamster. Yeah. And long story short, we both take two shots of hamster infused Jägermeister. <laughs> this dude drank a hamster. I drank a hamster. I've ever seen my logo? It's a shot glass with a hamster in it. <laughs> now you know why. Is this our guy? Are we gonna gonna do some donuts, sir? What you just said, what, what, you got balls on your hand? Look, he's what got, he happened? does have balls on his hand. You're an artist. Can you double check for me? It's 339. What's your name? Kevin McAllister. <laughs> That's golden diamond. I'm not happy about this at all. Sadly, I lost all the footage from my race the next day. I did wake up on time, we made it. I was hung over, I did throw up a couple times, but I completed my race. I went all two laps, 70 miles, did it in just over three hours. Really excited about my finish. I crashed four times, but just struggled through it and made it. Unfortunately, all the footage was corrupted and lost. I spent hundreds of dollars and many, 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 many hours trying to get it back, so I am sorry. All those that helped me out during the race, HBMC, thank you. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Big special thanks to RB5K for putting up with our hijinks. Uh, Jaeger Troop and I, we partied pretty hard. And RBK sat back in the sidelines and made sure nothing bad happened to us so we didn't get in any trouble. Always appreciate you and your support. You're a great friend. Also, Captain Man for spending countless hours trying to recover this footage for me. Wasn't happening, but he gave it everything he had. Thanks, buddy. Do appreciate you also. Unfortunately, Jaeger Troop wasn't able to complete the race. In a mad scramble to try to find the start 
of the race, he collided with another rider, and he hurt his foot and had to call it quits. Not real sure what happened to the other rider, but I left them, they were both okay and talking, so. Don't worry though, I'll be back. I plan on racing again. I do hope HBMC allows me to pit with them again, because that was fun. And I'll catch each and every one of you guys next time. Later.